if I'm if I'm in unforgiveness, then I am separating myself from the nature of God because God has already is unconditionally forgiving. So when I come to forgive somebody, I'm coming into agreement with God and and being one with Him, which then means that then I can then outwork that oneness within my own body. So depending on the circumstances, you just you just have to deal with the trauma of what's happened and make sure you're not connected to any negative energy or associated with that memory. There are certain things where you may have an overriding gift given to you to administrate in that situation, which could override all those things. But the person themselves, if they're going to maintain full health and wholeness, would need to choose to forgive themselves. Otherwise, they'll create negative energy and they still may have trauma and that trauma can come out in a different way. They may have a physical healing, but their emotions or uh, maybe still operating at a trauma, which could come out in a different way. It could come out in an emotional way. So you've got to be careful with pe other people. You obviously can't control what they do. You've just got to help them try and navigate through what's happened to them. So I would always, even if I laid hands on someone and saw a miracle, I'd want to make sure that person could keep that miracle and not go back into a negative thing that could come out of it if they haven't dealt with the trauma that was affecting them in the first place. I'm always looking to operate in a, in a way of union. And forgiveness to me is always the key to removing any negative energy associated with anything that's happened to anybody. And ultimately, I can put in as much positive energy as I can, and I could overwhelm that wound or overwhelm that six sickness with health energy, but for them to keep it, they would have to come into agreement with what I've done and therefore themselves choose to make sure that they do not hold on to the negative energy of that memory, the trauma, the effects. So you've got to help them to come into that place of agreement themselves. Otherwise, whatever you've done, that might be permanent, what you've done, but, that, but the negative energy will come out in another way. Sometimes it can come out in depression. Sometimes it can come out in oppression. It can come out in lots of different ways. And sometimes it can come out in other, other uh, physical illness. You know, the cells of the body can, that's where we get cancer. It's where the cells of the body replicate inappropriately. And that can be as a result of trauma undealt with. So it's always trying to help someone come back to that place of peace and rest by helping them choosing to deal with the trauma in an appropriate way, which generally, if it's to do with somebody else or even themselves, forgiving themselves or forgiving somebody else. People will use different terminology. People will use different terms for energy and things like that. I tend to not sort of use any particular term. I just want to make it simplify it down to its basic components. And that basic component would be for me in any situation where there was trauma, then you want to help someone deal with the trauma. And that's usually through forgiveness initially. Um, and then what you're doing, of course, then is you're bringing balance back. You're bringing a sense of uh, agreement with God, because if it says in Matthew 18, if you don't forgive, essentially you're going to be in the torture chamber, mm -hmm. you know, which means your cells or your body can be tortured by the trauma, which is not forgiven. And that's mm -hmm. why sickness and, mental well-being issues come out when people do not choose to forgive and release people from what they've done to them they maintain and hold on to that which becomes a negative energy within their whole being which then can cause negative things to happen within the physical body or the emotions you know so i, I wouldn't necessarily use the terms that you've used but it is balancing and making sure that we're not divergent with one another that we don't have negative and positive energy competing with one another within the body because that can be very detrimental to health so yeah it's making sure that we're aligned in agreement resonating so everything is in resonance which is resonant agreement with god but also with our spirit soul and body and we're not competing the sovereignty i would say is i know my authority and my uh, identity is one. I am one with him and one within myself.
So I am spirit, soul, body connected to father, son, spirit in a union that brings about a oneness, which is the fullness of the number of man. You know where it talks about the number of man being six? Well, that's three of God and three of me. It's not a negative number. It's a positive number because that's that is the fullness of me and the fullness of God together making six. You know, so in a sense, it is, yeah, it is balance, it's harmony, it's oneness, all sorts of different terms, resonance, but I am not in any way discordant to the intention of God's desire and will, but in agreement, harmonious with it. And that means I have to deal with anything which is causing disharmony, which could be unforgiveness, it could be trauma, it could be fear, anything attached to because as someone, as soon as someone gets a diagnosis, fear can attach to that diagnosis, and then fear will completely be, be causing you to have a negative energy operating in your physical body, as opposed to the positive energy, which is, in, which is agreeing with God in that he is our healer, and he wants us to be whole. In fact, he wants us to live in, in immortality. So it's all sort of getting this balance. And per se, I, it's not that... I'm using sovereignty. I have, I can, I am sovereign over this. Although, yes, my identity gives me a measure of authority, but that authority has to be at work through the process. You can't just command it. You have to deal with it. Otherwise, you're, you're trying to control your body into coming into health, health or whatever, rather than coming into a cooperation where health is the outworking of oneness and where you are completely one with him and with yourself. Therefore, that is health. You know, that in reality, that is the rest, which will bring about complete balance within our spirit, soul, body in union with him.